Hello YouTube friends, it's Chrissy at Hosted by Chrissy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in a collaboration sponsored by Christina at the DIY Mommy. This is my very first time participating in this collaboration, so it's really exciting. I'll be sharing a DIY project for spring from start to finish, and also I'll share some spring decor with you from a room of my home. That will be revealed to you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Also, once you complete view of my video, make sure you check out other videos from participants of this collaboration for ideas for your own spring decor in your space. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. For this project, you'll need a glue gun and glue sticks, E6000 glue, you'll need a brick of dry floral foam, a serrated knife to cut your foam, household scissors, floral snips, floral wire. You'll need a total of six L brackets. These can be purchased at your local hardware store. I have three two inch brackets and three two and a half inch brackets. You'll also need faux florals or faux succulents. I decided to do my planter garden with the faux succulents. I have both the pick variety and the potted variety. My sister also picked up some of these for me during a recent haul to Dollar Tree. My sister Lacey over at Chad and Lacey TV also recently made a DIY project using these faux succulents and it turned out absolutely beautifully. Go and check out her project at Chad and Lacey TV when you have a chance. You'll need one bag of Spanish moss, two different colors of spray paint if you would like for your planter project to have two different colors in the container itself. I selected flat white to paint the actual container and also a metallic gold to paint the support legs for the planter. Both of these paints are by Rust-Oleum. The actual container that I'll be using is an old cake plate that I picked up at Goodwill for 25 cents. It needs a little bit of cleaning up, but I'll get that done and get it sprayed very soon here. In addition, you'll need some decorative pebbles. I selected black. I also selected white stones. And I had some river rocks left over from a previous project, so I'll incorporate some of those as well. And they do sell the river rocks in two different sizes, already bagged at Dollar Tree.
Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I hope you enjoyed the DIY project that I presented to you, and I hope that you plan to make some version of the project on your own. I also hope you enjoyed the reveal of my front living room space with my spring decor. If you have any questions or comments about anything that you saw in the reveal, make sure you leave comments. Also, make sure if this is the first time you're, you visited my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for taking time to spend with me today, and I hope that some of my ideas inspired you for your own spring decor. Take care. Bye.